Hi, I'm Rob Streeter, and this video is going to talk about a different look at dry flies. When you think about the traditional dry flies, most of them have the wing coming about 90 degrees off of the hook. But when you look at actual insects like mayflies, caddisflies, and stoneflies, they're not built that way. A mayfly's wing is coming off somewhere between 45 and 60 degrees from their body. So they're coming back at an angle. Caddis flies are even tighter down to their body. They're maybe coming off at like 10 to 20 degrees. And stone flies, their wings sit flat to the body. So I already talked about in another video about my portable fly tying gear and how I use it. And it was part of how I came up with what we're going to talk about now is a dry fly system. I wanted to be able to go anywhere and be able to match the hatch, which can be tough if you think about all the materials and everything you got to bring. So I simplified the materials and came up with dry fly patterns based on how the insects actually look. So for example, a mayfly, if we look at it, that's about the way the wing of a mayfly goes. So this one is tied for a specific hatch, but this is the way I make the wing. I use that same angle. The flies are tied pretty simply. Uh, I use microfibrets for the tail. I use Zelon or CDC puffs for the wing. And from there I go to just a basic dub body and I put the hackle ahead of the wing on the mayfly and just clip it off so it's about even with the hook point. It's a simple fly to make and it works very well. I've used it for the last year and a half or so and I'm doing well catching trout. And in some instances with really pressured fish like down on the beaver kill, I think I'm doing a little bit better than I would be doing with the traditional flies or going down to a fly shop and buying the flies because what I'm throwing is a little bit different. It's a little bit simpler um, and a little bit more precise in some ways on the angles of the wing and what we have going. So the basic fly, I can tie a dun, I can tie a spinner, and I can tie even an emerger. So here's an emerger for a sulfur and it's just basically doubling that Z-Line wing back. This is the done version and got a spinner version of the same fly. Again, they're all really easy to make. So you end up with, you know, no matter what's hatching, like okay we got trichos. There's a trico very easy to make one. So no matter what mayfly hatch you have, this system works really well. It also works well on caddis. So last year I got into some tan caddis hatch and it's pretty easy just to make a basic tan caddis. Here's the, here's the tan caddis and it uh, it has a palmered hackle that comes up the body and just a tan wing and I leave the CDC puff on the end so it's like a head and that works just as well as any caddis imitation that I was throwing. The same thing applies for stoneflies, even big stoneflies. I got into one situation last year where big golden stones were coming off. So I use the same system. In this case I use Zelon for the wing and kind of the same way as the caddis. I make the body a little beefier but I just palmer a set uh, a real short hackle up the body and I leave the wing so it gets cut off at the top so I have a head part. That fly works really well. I, I've done really well with it. I also last year got into something I never got into before because I don't think we have a lot of them around here. Got into a yellow Sally stonefly hatch and uh, just basically coming up with a simple yellow Sally. I caught a lot of wild trout in Pennsylvania with this, this type of fly. So 
In the next few weeks, I will be putting together videos on how to tie these and how to put them all together. And we'll have a series of videos on these coming out soon. There's also going to be an article in Fly Tire Magazine on these. I call them the general admission. And it's a real simple fly to tie. You can match the hatch anywhere and they work really well. If you like the videos, please subscribe and hit the like button and please give us any comments you have or any questions. I get back to everybody. Thanks for watching.